Good morning, everyone. It's Mel from Everything Marmy. It is the 12th of March, a Tuesday, 2024. I'm a week older today. Yeah, I think today is going to be quite informal. And when I say that, it's because I'm just super chill. There's a bunch of stuff I've been working on, and I just thought to flick on the camera as I was going through this book. And um, I know this is the third day in a row that you guys get to see this book, but I'm playing with it. But I do have a couple of things sitting to the side that I thought, you know, we could get into. But I, um, I did want to I did want to kind of just add a little bit more to this. Sometimes I get obsessed with the projects I'm working on. <laughs> just a little bit, and um, this is one of them. So I hope you guys are all doing all right this morning. How is everybody doing? Um... With regards to the time change, as I was saying in my earlier videos this week, um, especially since it happened on Sunday, I get really hooped up with the time change. So even though I had been kind of sleeping at night, <laughs> now I'm completely not sleeping at night. Uh, that's what happens to my body. It just refuses to cooperate with um, changes like that. It doesn't accept them. And so I have been updating all of my planners. Because, you know, when you work on a project like this, you kind of work piecemeal through the other planners and I am um, adding a ton of bulk to this book, a ton of bulk and probably it'll weigh like five pounds when it's all said and done because it's like every second page seems to have in the front anyway has a book picture. I missed um when I was sorting them, I missed putting in a few of the, um, these ones here. They were at the bottom of the bin, so I wanted to add those because they're very vibrant. And uh, it's about the books called My Sister. And I, it reminds me a lot of those Mr. Big, Mr. Tall, Mr. Small books. Do you guys remember those? I remember reading those. And I have a lot of them in miniature, but that was the first kind of big one I'd come across. So essentially, I'm just doing a page, then a book page, then a page, then a book page. And... Um, I don't know why, actually, to be honest, except that it just feels like, I, I just feel like doing it, and sometimes you just feel like doing it. So, that's sort of how she's going. This one I don't want to put a slip pocket in. I'm dropping my paper towels beside me on the arm. And I'm I'm not actually not even like hopping up or like moving <laughs> the way I normally move today. Or where I usually stand up when I begin to see because I've lowered you guys so close that I can see the view. And I pray that's enough. And you can see my desk is completely, like, shambled. <laughs> and I'm all right with that. 
I am okay with that. I think I wanted the lion, didn't I? Yeah, it's so too big. I want it to cut off a bit here. So I've been reading your comments and I want to thank you. Um, you guys have been like just awesome, really awesome with your comments. I appreciate them so much. Uh, especially people, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, um, that came on and said, you know, thank you for introducing me to Daphne's diary. I've had some Instagram messages thanking me for introducing them to the Better Day book by Olivia Gibbs. Um, I, 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 yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And um, it is another day outside where it's started to rain really hard. And I have some appointments today. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so I do have to get my walk in. And I'm telling you folks, like, I can't figure out how to change my watch time. But it's like 6.37 in the morning. And, yeah, I got to get out the door at a decent time for these appointments. So, like I said, this, I don't know, I just don't feel as intellectual this morning. <laughs> as, not saying that I do on most days, but I, you know, some days, like, speaking this way, like, is easier than on other days, I suppose. Yeah, I guess that's how I want to put it. And some days I just want to sit and be quiet and let you guys see the process. But, you know, um, to do that, I would, you know, put on music or something like that. And I just, yeah, I just, I would have to go through iMovie to do that. So I don't want to do that. I, I like him. He's cute. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, they're cute too, eh? I don't want to cut off his hair, though. He's a really cute little guy. Let's see what I can do here. I folded up quite a few of these already, so this book is going to be quite thick. So I know I need to take off the excess at this point. And uh, you guys might be thinking like, well, why are you going so extreme? And, uh, it, you know, with me, I do. I, I've always kind of been go big or go home. And I just have so much that I want to put in this book. And that's why it's important for me to get it down because we're on the 12th, right? And I have a video lineup roughly scheduled out in my mind. So... I needed to get this done, and I think I taped that up a little too high, but that's all right. Yeah, um, somebody else had thanked me for showing them the ruffling, um, but they said that they would use glue, not staples. You know, I, I would prefer actually the glue as well, but you know, when I'm I'm showing everybody it takes time right so um, as it is my videos are long and if you're new here welcome um, please grab yourself a drink please you know pause the movie <laughs> the movie uh, the video um, and it may be be something that you know you may come back to in the future or you might oh, oh, this paper is no good look can I pull off the tape 
so I've got to lay it down because it, it just wants to rip it right up. Um, you know, you, you might watch for five minutes, get the gist of it, and move on, and, and that's perfectly fine. I'm just happy you're here for however long you're here. And um, my only intent in doing these videos really is to enjoy doing them. Um, I just have a couple of pages left. it and then I will show you the next part there's nothing really there yeah so I'm really mellow today um, like I'm, I'm not even tired I'm just mellow and of course, I would love a coffee, but, you know, <laughs> we know how that works with me. And, yeah, I'd rather not go on my walk and have that uh, experience again. <laughs> These pages here are so thick, and I just love that um, I will always be able to have these pages inside of something that means something to me. And I love children's book pages so very much. I mean, as an avid book reader from the time I was very, very little, I, I no matter what book I was reading, I would always read a stack of children's books, whether it was with my children or my grandchildren or just by myself. I mean, just the, the looking at the pictures, the vibrancy, the illustrations, it, it, they're just such a treasure. So, but you could do this with anything, with magazines and um, cookbooks. Cookbooks are a great one. Or, like, you know, any kind of book that has illustrations in it. Or even, like, vintage book pages. You know, any kind of style. So versatile to do. And you could cut this book down and do it that way. I think I cracked this tape. Like I said, I've been struggling with the tape. off my fingers now come on off you go yeah I've been struggling with this tape here so another thing I did was put in an order <laughs> oh I wasn't going to but you know I did after some long and hard thinking order that um, long neck stapler I had mentioned in a few videos ago. Um, even though I can sew, I can sew. Um, I can hand sew, I can sew. But I, I kind of want to put this little one. Oh, she's saying goodbye. So. How many pages have we got here? Where does she want to say goodbye? Here. Yeah, maybe here. Let's get her tucked in there. Okay, I'm going to put her back one. I just want to tape her on there. You know, because I definitely want to see that, but I think I'll just put her in there. Um, <clears throat> oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. What was I saying? Yeah. <clears throat> Purchases. 
Sorry, there goes my voice. <coughs> um, what else did I get? Oh, I was I was going to order a pouch. And then I realized I had a pouch that I had thrifted and of course had to dig it out. And it reminds me of the um Hobonichi style pouches, but it doesn't say Hobonichi on it. And so I thought if we had time, we could look through those pouches together. Of course, then I'll stand up. But I just wanted to get good and comfortable, get these pages in. I think I have one left. And then I did take out this one here. I didn't like it flipping up. But I do like these little guys here, but I don't. Um, I just have this big one here now. And I just have to kind of find, sorry about that, a page that's fitting for it. Right in between here, maybe. Just like we did at the front. Fold it so that it gets tucked in and then this flap is hanging like that. So let's do that. And then I'll just do a quick flip through with you and then we'll look through some pouches. Yeah, so... <laughs> I'd gone so long without really buying anything and then poof, uh, did a good purchase. But sometimes, I don't know, so I, I sometimes I just feel like it, you know, <laughs> for no other reason except that I just feel like it. Sometimes I just feel like it and so I do it. So let me know if you want to see what those items are when they come in. I'll leave them a mystery until they do come in. Some will come in on Thursday and then some are coming from further off, I think. And then, yeah, so. But as for Shine Sticker Studio, I got a hold of Debbie, who um, she's the mom of the operation and uh, it looked like my March, the February one apparently was canceled from me um, and it showed up canceled. So it was probably something that I went looking at and accidentally did that in my subscription with them um, without meaning to. And then, uh, and that's not unusual. Uh, me hitting the wrong button, and then March, she said, was sent out before the 20th, so it's the 12th now. So that's quite a long time, but um, I did get January's, but I don't remember how long I had to wait, so... Um, I will also show you very quickly how thick this thing has gotten now. You see? So it's quite thick. Up close and personal. Before even the half year has come. And then I did put something in the middle of this signature even. Um, I had this piece of paper here from Daphne's diary. So I put that right in the middle. I've just been craving fruit. And then this is the back end of the 50 pages for all of the um, planning for the rest of the month. And everything in this book will just be for one month. Oh, and I found a card for a pen pal club. 
So I'll be doing that. I found that in one of the free like little libraries on my wall. And so that's the front. I did, um, okay, now I gotta stand. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Did I put on that light? Yeah, I did, okay. I will lift you up a little bit, guys. So I did fix the keys so that they're not so far down. You see that? And all I did was use this paper clip and just loop it through there. So that looks a little bit better. It's not dangling so much. The charm. That's the front of the book. That's the back of the book. This is how thick she is. And I'll do a quick flip. So these are in here, but of course, let's put something pretty in there. I just absolutely love these roller skates. Let's see what else is in here. These cards were in that book by Olivia Gibb. I want some flowers down here. The only way I can think of doing it is turning one of these cards upside down. So, as I do that, there we go. Then we've got, let's get you guys in screen. We've got that page. And then these were the pages here. I do have more ribbon, but I don't think I'm gonna add that right now. And I do have these that I plan on adding to it as well, but probably closer to the end and not in the beginning because I'm using it as a planner, but you can imagine the colors. But I just love this page. And of course it's about a sister. So, um, so it's sort of like a tribute to my sister as well. Somebody also suggested I could call it something else. What was that? Let me look at my comments here. Because it was a, a good idea. Um, a catch-all book. That's a really good title. Yeah, a catch-all book. Yeah, I, I still like it as um, the hybrid, but a catch-all is a good name. So you see what I did here was I really like the pattern, so I spread it out, and plus I got a little bit of glue here. So I didn't bring any waxed or parchment paper over, and that's a really um, smart way of not getting glue everywhere is using, like, parchment paper. Since she, that so reminds me of my sister, right? It does. Um, yesterday on my walk, I saw a dog like that. He reminds me of my grandson when he was that age. These little characters, my little ruffle that I did. The library and I thought that that page went really well there 
all that bright yellow, the yellow here, the gold, wait. I've been craving a lot of peanut butter and jelly toast. Well, not jelly, jam, but, and I do miss having a cat or two because they do better in pairs, I, I feel. <laughs> I love this hay pipe down. <laughs> All of these are Zeds for sleep. A lot of rain, umbrellas. I'm a Leo. The farm, oh my goodness, the farm. And then you watch me do that one. And that one. And this one. So some of them don't have it in every single thing, but that's okay. God, that so reminds me of a picture of myself. And then we go into the calendar and I did do my first thoughts already. I have started my weekly. I've decided to change it around some. So it's daily tracker. Because at first I had the food log here and the weekly there. And I'd already made a mistake because my brain dump got put behind because I'd laid this down. But here's my daily tracker. My chores, my extras. Extras could be any of these. To do, to buy. These are from Peanuts Planner Co., right? And then this here is my food log, menu, and health. So here will be the menu. And I haven't got to it yet. And then, um, yeah. Mood tracker, health log, steps, sleep. That sleep was on a nap yesterday, so we're on Tuesday here. So, and then I had four and a half hours the day before. So, and then um, that's my brain dump, and that's basically it. I haven't done any of my dailies yet. And that is the back of the book. Okay, so that's probably, um, you'll see me working in it now uh, from time to time, just regular stuff, but I wanted to show you just me working along. I thought, you know, why not show you what I was doing? So this was the pouch. You guys, you guys familiar with this pouch that Hobonichi has? Um, and I was watching Courtney Diaz from Little Raven Inc. And she was doing her yellow pouch from Hobonichi. And from like three years ago. And I thought, man, I love that pouch. It was bright yellow. And now you guys are up a bit too high because I just sat down. <laughs> and I can't see the screen. So we're going to do this game again. Come on down. Okay. And then I looked at the bottom of my cart just beside me here and I was like, oh my good. Because I, I went to go buy it. <laughs> I went to go buy it on Amazon. And like, like talk about, you know, being influenced, right? Like I'm enabled. I just, that's just me guys. So I was, I looked down at my cart and I thought, oh my goodness, it's not yellow and it's not Hobonichi but it is the same pouch. So in the side pocket here, now it's it's not organized properly. You guys are up close and personal, but I just wanna show you what I have in it. 
and I'm going to be organizing them. So it's got some sticker books, four by six sticker books. Um, lots I have used. And when I put them in these travel pack packs like this, I tend to use them more because they're there. Okay, so those were in the side pockets. It has a zipper here. I don't know if I ever showed these pouches on this channel. I could have. It might have been a long time ago. But I mean, look how similar this pouch is to the Hobonichi pouch. How close are you guys? Yeah, you're too close. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let's get you guys at a distance and I can it's just uh, difficult for me to stand very long um, without movement so she was saying hers stood like that if it was balanced mine's not balanced so how would it balance I don't know would that balance it if I put those in there but she said yeah they're intended to balance and this one can. I'm pretty sure if I weighted it properly, it could balance and sit there. See? So, anyway, you've seen these two. Now, they're designed, these, to go with your planner. So you take a planner, you take a little bag like this, and you're on the go, right? So, down one side here in the back pocket... I remember getting these from um, Stationery Pal. Gosh, watermelon. See what I mean about fruit? Oh, just craving fruit. And then. There's a lot of like wallet sized pockets in here. You see? Obviously I've had this for a while because my old gifting card is in here. In three. Because <laughs> obviously I've taken this out before and then I'd have these cards in there. So what's here? This is a surprise to me as it is to you. Oh, these are from the planner, the old planner society. And then one of these little, actually that's pretty strong. Just some boxes. Little Shine Sticker Studio, look at that. You never know what you're gonna find. These must be from a sticker book I cut up, perhaps. Water bottles. Little trackers. Happiness. That seems to be a theme. Okay. Sometimes it's fun to look through your stuff. You know? Like... I don't know, like I've been doing that a lot lately, just kind of going, you know, doing a declutter. Of course, I do a declutter, and what do I do? I turn around and uh, buy more stuff. Huh. It's down here. Well, that's the inside of the zipper part. So that's pretty industrial right there. I'm curious to... Oh, the bottom lifts up even. So, like, the middle part. Let's take it all out. Because, like I said, it's not really organized. So, yeah, I thrifted this bag. So, that's how it's constructed with that metal thing there. So, it's got a good construction. It's got a great gusset. So again, it looks like a whole lot of stickers. Look at these number stickers. Like really teeny tiny. 
more. Drink water. Obviously, that was an issue, I guess. These are cute. Oh, no, no raccoon. <laughs> Can you tell I'm obsessed on raccoons, guys? Can you? These are Dollar Tree ones. I remember those. And these were on sale at Michael's. I remember that, too. And then these were calendar stickers. What are those? Date, shop, lazy day, volunteer, meetings. And then more numbers. Plan like a boss. I don't even know what that means. Um, you can tell I thrifted that because it has this sticker. And then this was the back of probably an Amazon order. Die cut seals, tracing, four sheets. And then these could have been um, AliExpress or they could have been the Sticky Club, but you can tell I've used lots of them. Okay, let me just sit down again. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, folks. Oh. It's taking a little longer than I wish for my my body to recover. That was from the um, wallpaper book. And then these are paper thin, um, vintage looking flowers. And same with those vintage looking, um, very thin washi type stickers. Okay, so let's put that stuff in there for now. What's in the zip? Okay. So I have some mini pens. I bet you they don't even work well now. Let's get a piece of paper. Marry you. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty much dust. I'll have to go to the dead pen cemetery. There's that one. Well, the green works well. No problem there. Really cute. Looks like it's got ink in that one. And then red. Oh my goodness, that lid's really on there. Red works well. And there's a bit of glitter in there too. And then blue. But I think it's just because the lid keeps popping off on the black one. And then orange. Harder to see, but still working good. What else do I have here? I've got a bookmark. Make your dreams happen. I've got tweezers. And also to lift stickers up. But, I mean, you could also clean your nails if you wanted to with this thing. But it's to, to help get stickers up. I wondered where that was, actually. And then these are the girl pins. Remember those? And so that's... Oh, and Fiskars scissors. These are really, like, uh, cool. I remember when I got these. They were, like, 4 or $5. But they're quite sharp. 
quite sharp. And they're compact and they fold down. And I'm sure they're Fiskars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So that was in the zip pocket. So, I mean, this looks exactly, almost exactly. The only thing I'm noticing is that there's no pocket here. Like there was a little pocket that Courtney's had that mine does not have. But, you know, these pouches on Amazon are not cheap. So she, like, by finding this, by looking over, I was like, yeah, it was like $92 or something. And I'm like, I'm kind of glad that I had this one that I thrifted because I'm fairly certain I didn't even come close to that paying for this. I probably paid like 2 or $3 for this, if I know me. And then in this little one here, I've cut up some more stickers. I've got to find a better solution for storing these, obviously. And then those were from the Dollar Tree, I think. And there's just one more item in this. And that is down here, and this, I think I got this off of Jet Pens, this metal um, bullet journal gizmo. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Yeah, and it just fits, slides right down in here. So that's that pouch, which saved me from being enabled and buying something because I looked through my stuff. And I'll configure it so that if I don't want to take my Delphonics pouch, this is like a better solution. But I also have another one. I have this one. No outside pocket, but it's vinyl, where this one is like material. Do you hear that difference? So, and this one has a patch on it and the Mickey Mouse hand. So it's obviously a Disney deal. And what have I got in here? Okay, well, there's two pockets here. That is a Villa Beautiful washi card that you wrap. I haven't even taken the plastic off of that. There are people that just love doing this. I remember when I had um, Ox come in and look at my TV, and I let him peel the sticker off the TV, and he was like in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, you wrap washi on that. Nothing down the other pocket. Okay, what's in here? These are calendar stickers in like craft paper by the looks of it. Oh, and I had these and didn't even know it, so that's good. If I had ordered more. Yeah. And then I have post-it notes, which are purses. Nothing else in these wallety pockets. Or on that side. But there's, you know, this could easily be a wallet. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put a wallet in there. So I've got these, which go in, obviously, um, rings. But I actually really like those. I might be using these. Those are bigger ones in my setup. Just stickers. And what are these? Tabs. Which 
Jay Boone Tattoo. I can't say it right, guys. I'm so sorry. Jay Boone Tattoo? Yeah. And then over here, what do I have? Um, piece of paper. Girl envelopes. Oh, I look at everything upside down. Those are cool, right? And then I've got some sticky notes. Oh, isn't that cute? Write it down. And I've got some post-it notes. And this piece of paper, I'm sure, is like a list or something. Oh, it's no, it's a mailing label. Okay. And then these are zero to nine color coded labels. And then this is a ultimate productivity stickers for planners, journals, and scrapbooks. 20 sheets, five designs for each. Shall we look? Mini cow. Wow. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness, Mel. Okay. Uh, tracking. Date covers. You never know what you're going to find. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And to do lists. Priorities. And look at that. Oh my goodness. So here I've been sitting on like a plethora of like beautiful stuff and didn't even know it. And that's what happens, my friends, when, <laughs> when you have a bunch of stuff everywhere. Of course, now I'm aware of it and I can use it and I plan on it. I'm going to have to haul out, I think, my medium. I've got a medium um, planner bag. Like, I, you guys have seen my soft cover one, but I've got a medium one that's harder. It has outside pockets and stuff that I could put this stuff in around the house. Um, and then I have alphabet letters. So, what else is in here? Okay, I got obviously a Coletto pen in four colors from Papermate and in the zip pocket. No pins other than that one is uh, this week with the girls. So that's what's in that planner pouch. And then, I don't even know what time we're at. What time are we at? 48 minutes, okay. We have time for these two. And then I have these two pouches, storage bags, down at the bottom of my planner cart. And of course, I don't like get down there because in front of my planner cart, I have another cart. <laughs> Yes, I know. That's why I said I don't have much space because as I'm working on different projects, out come the different carts to put them on. Um, it's just the way I have to do things. <laughs> so in this one is these very big washies. I mean, these are... Where's the inches? They're two and three quarter inches. And this one is Taiwan. So if I ever had the spine of a, a book break, I could use this kind of washi. Then this is probably two inch washi. Two and a half. 
dots. More of this color. So obviously I think these came in a set. This one, I'm not sure. Butterflies and bugs and stuff. You can cut them off individually. And I guess that's what I was doing. So like I said, guys, this is a really like a chill kind of video. I don't even know what I'm going to title it. I just uh, come along, grab your coffee. Let's poke through Mel's stuff. <laughs> you know, I mean, what else are we? I Like, I have no idea what I'm going to call it. I'm going to have some water, though. I hope you guys have a drink. And the last one is this sunflower one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, but one are dots. So that's good. And then I also, also have these washi cards. And I'm sure I got these off of Amazon. So that's what's in that pouch. And like I said, I like clear pouches so I can see what's in them. But not only can I, I need to see right what's in them, is I need to see what's in them at a certain height. So if they're buried, like they were at the bottom of the card, I couldn't see them. And the last one I'm going to show you is some sticky tabs. Because I wasn't using this one either. And obviously this came in a set. And obviously this one matched the purse that was in in the um, Mickey bag. So I've got a bunch in here. I like the create your own sunshine. I've got the locks probably from the Dollar Tree or Dollarama. There is Frida Kahlo. What are these ones? Sticky notes of some kind. Got all sorts in here. I'm just afraid if I pull them all out, I won't get them all back in. Um. There's another one. I probably thrifted that because I see the big Value Village sticker on there. Here's a post-it one. with something stuck to it. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> like I said, it's amazing, right? And then in the back here, what do I have? I've got some transparent ones from Villa Beautiful. So I have no excuse not to use my things. Happy face sticker. Oh, it's just a notebook. That's fine. What's this one? Coffee, which is also a notebook. Um, dress forms. There's more of those cats. And flag tapes. Yeah. Oh, Smashbook stuff. Here's some more Simply Gilded black and white. Can't even see the black. Smash book, like um, Project Life cards, but they're from Smash book. Happy planner ones. Yeah, guys. So, like, 
I hope this video didn't bore you. Um, it was just a look through some of the stuff that I had, a super chill video this morning. And I wanted to get those pages all tipped in in that book. My little hybrid book. And I hope you guys had a, you know, if you watched this early enough with your cup of coffee, maybe it helped you wake up a little bit because I'm talking really kind of quietly, I think, this morning. I feel like I am anyway, but... And again, with my ears, it's hard to tell. So those are the four bags that we looked at. And then, of course, all of that for... This guy here, which I'm sure you guys are going to get really familiar in seeing. But this actually, I was really surprised how well the colors matched. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, sometimes when you're influenced, you, you want to buy the same color. And Courtney had a yellow one, and I was like, hmm, I like the color yellow. <laughs> but you know, it's not really realistic, is it? So you always get the same as, you know, somebody else, you know? It's good to be your own person and do your own thing sometimes, but I don't. And um, I was just happy to note that I had some stuff of my own. Anyway, folks, that's it from me today. And um, remember, please, that we are all perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And I will talk to you next time. Have a great and happy morning. Bye for now.